Welcome to Indigo Gaming. Today's guide is for the achievement Aerial Superiority on the mission Supernova in the Wings of Liberty campaign. First, I will do a walkthrough on Normal to show the strategy. After that, I will do a walkthrough on Brutal. Welcome to the normal walkthrough for the achievement Aerial Superiority. The achievement's requirements are to complete the mission without building a unit from a barracks or factory. So in other words, you can only have starport units. Just starting into the mission though, use your banshees to clear the landing zone and get your base set up. I'm going to set up the buildings I cannot use, just as a bit of a wall here. Once you have your base set up and started producing SCVs, Banshees, take your initial group of Banshees straight up north and then west to do some damage to this first Protoss base. If you can cripple this base by destroying the Nexus, Probes, and Pylons, then your base will be much safer and you can have more time to build up your initial force of starport units. Banshees are going to be an absolute key to completing this mission, as will a few Vikings. Controlling my Banshees, I got rid of the Nexus, now I'm targeting down these pylons so that nothing can be produced and my base will be completely safe. And that is everything. So now they have just a handful of zealots, nothing scary at all. I'm going to pull my banshees back and just focus on making starport units. I did get an initial group of barracks units here, which can help out with base defense. You do not have to complete the bonus objective at all for this mission. You don't have to pick up any of the Protoss relics. You can just focus on building up your force and making your way across to the other side of the map to destroy the artifact vault. That's, that is the primary objective. Use your Banshees to scout ahead before moving your ground force and your buildings to new expansions since your initial base will mine out fairly quickly. I fully expect the Protoss to send more units. Excellent location to move our base to. We 
just need to clear them out and take possession. I'm going to add on a science vessel and a couple Vikings, because I know the Protoss will have warp prisms eventually. Target down the cannons so that you're not detected and your cloaked banshees become quite a fearsome force. Does not look like there's any more threats here. So I'm going to decloak the Banshees so they can regenerate some energy. And now I can take my forces and start moving towards this Protoss base that I destroyed. If you do not destroy the base before your base mines out, you can take this little middle ground area as an in-between expansion. Now that everything's been cleared along the way, I'm going to bring my production structures, SCVs, along with it. Get everything set up for base defense. Make a wall with my production structures and then put my defensive barracks units here. In, but in the middle of all the buildings so that they're well protected. Once you've secured this base that you took from the Protoss, the next step is pushing towards this Protoss base. Eventually, I'm going to make my way to that eastern side of the map and then go straight up towards the artifact vault. Get production going, a couple more science vessels for repairs, some more Vikings to handle any air units such as phoenixes, void rays, warp prisms, and then the rest is in banshees. I know that the achievement specified no units from a barracks or factory. That means that the mercenary compound should be fine, but as of yet, I have not had a need to test it. I've been able to keep everything safe with just the starport units. Get science vessels set up to follow the army units. Get a scan going so they do have warp prisms here. They also have some scouts, it looks like.
be another warp prism powering this cannon. Not anymore. Banshees and Vikings doing great work here. Get an armory so I can get a damage upgrade going in the meantime. Upgrades are not really feasible on this map because of that moving fire wave, keeping your base, well, mobile, for lack of a better term. But once you get set up with some sizable distance between your base and that fire wave, go ahead and build an armory and just start damage upgrades. So they do have a cannon to detect air. Take care of that first. And it looks like I did mine out this Protoss base that we took. I'm going to go ahead and move my production structures. Get that damage upgrade started. I'm going to leave my barracks and factory here because they're not needed at all and it might buy some time to finish this upgrade if things start to go badly. Wow, I left an immortal here. So from here, my base is getting set up in this final location, and I've cleared all the Protoss along this bottom eastern corner. So now I'm going to just do some scans so that I can see how difficult is it going to be to get in here. My strategy is going to be taking the Banshees as close to that right wall as I can, sniping the cannon so that they cannot be detected, and then killing the artifact vault. The Vikings will provide support against things such as scouts, war prisms, etc. Oh, I have a group of banshees here. You can use your banshees to kill off the rather weak Protoss force that's just destroying your old structures. No reason to lose things unnecessarily, though. I do not see any warp prisms, but I do see some phoenix that I'll have to take care of with the vikings. Plus one damage finished. So now I'm going to Go ahead and cloak my banshees. Start moving forward here. Snipe the cannons. And now all the detection is gone. Banshees can go uncontested against this artifact vault thus completing the mission and getting the achievement. Skip the cutscene. Aerial superiority obtained on normal difficulty. Overall, felt pretty easy. Barracks units are given at the start and can be used for base defense, and then just focus on making a large group of banshees with a handful of vikings to support you. They do have some anti-air units that you'll need those Vikings for as you make your way across the map to that eastern side and then go straight up north to snipe cannons and get that artifact vault. And now to go to the brutal walkthrough. Welcome to the brutal walkthrough for the achievement Aerial Superiority. Relax, hotshot. I got 
got something useful for you. Banshees. These babies can blow the snot out of ground forces. Got cloaking, too. Gotta love that. No problem. Whoa, careful of those Protoss cannons. They can detect Banshees even when they're cloaked. As soon as you start the mission, take your Banshees, clear out this landing zone for your base, and then you'll start making SCVs and starport units. The achievements requirements are to complete the mission without building anything from a barracks or factory. Such charming Broda. Once your base is set up and you're producing SCVs, starport units, take your initial group of Banshees north and then westward, because you need to cripple this first Protoss base. Target down the Nexus, the probes, and the pylons specifically. Your goal is to make it so that they cannot produce any army units which will give you quite a bit of time to set up your initial force of Banshees. Nexus is down. Now I'm targeting down the pylons. Kill the pylons, kill the power. You do start with an initial group of barracks units that you can use in base defense. Now that that is taken care of, Bring the Banshees home, and just focus on building. I moved my barracks and factory in a way that they make a little bit of a wall more just a barrier to protect that initial group of barracks units which I'm using for base defense. Taldarim outpost to the east would make an excellent location to move our base to. We just need to clear them out and take possession. Weapons hot. Proceeding. Mineral field depleted. Moving my Banshees eastward to clear out this little expansion I can take before assaulting this more sizable Protoss base. Once these minerals are mined out, I will move my base, production structures, and workers to this middle part. Let my starport finish producing those units that it has queued up. I 
again set up a little wall with the production structures that I'm not using so that way my barracks units might survive a little bit longer against things like zealots. Alright, so that is everything that was producing. Now I'm going to go ahead and move the starport over here and start working on this Protoss base. It looks like they do not have any air threats, so my Vikings are not needed. But they do have cannons that I will need to target down. Protoss definitely sending more units to attack the base. I lost my barracks units, so I'll have to depend on the Banshees and Vikings to defend my production structures. I'm going to go ahead and make an armory over here so that I can start getting damage upgrades for the Banshees. Will you all get to work, please? Make a few Vikings while I wait for this Protoss base to be cleared. Fire still has not even reached my initial starting point, so I know this expansion is safe. second starport which will be used more once I take this base here well that SCV is stuck I guess he's done working that was really quite fortunate actually the only thing they sent was a Colossus, which I had my Vikings sitting there. The Alright, so that was everything for the base. Embarrassing. Definitely a bit sloppy. You do not have to lose half your SCVs to complete the mission but you can if you want to. I don't think anything is going to stop you. Get a second armor right here. Now I'm going to focus on making a lot of banshees because I have a decent group of vikings. I have two science vessels for repairs. The only thing I need now is the actual firepower to take down that artifact vault. My strategy going through this mission is to clear the Protoss bases along the southern side of the map while I work my way all the way over to that eastern wall. Once here, it's just a straight shot north to that artifact vault. Good 
Ground forces taken care of. Start my plus two damage upgrade. Now I'll start scouting what threats are along the way to the next base. Nothing too scary, it looks like. I do see cannons. They are powered by warp prisms. They do have observers here, too. Use your Vikings to snipe those warp prisms, thus depowering the cannons. Need to bring my science vessel up here because I did see that observer. Gonna have to pull things back because I do not want to lose my production structures. Oh no, science vessel. How will I do any science without a science vessel? That is everything for this Protoss base. I will be able to relocate. Plus two is about to finish. Not going to start it at that one though, because of how close the fire is to this armory. I'm going to go ahead and start it at my second armory. Storms. There. Definitely a bit scarier of a place to take there. Let's take just a handful. There we go. Calm down, Matt. We're totally fine. So that is everything. That armory is still making the upgrade. Factory decided to be slow. Definitely enough banshees now that I don't need to be that scared of fighting their army without cloak. Make 
make sure everybody's working so that I can keep making banshees and get ready to push north directly to the artifact vault. I don't know if I'll be able to get this plus two armor done before the fire hits it, but I might as well try. I'm going to use a scan. Let's see what's in store at the base. So they have cannons, they have phoenix, carrier, more storms it looks like. Definitely a bit more formidable. Plus three did finish. See if I can start poking at their outer defenses. Was that the carrier that was sitting here? It was. Not sure why Protoss decided to move everything. He baiting a storm out. Very nice. Definitely don't want to take any storms without seeing them first. Looks like everything is taken care of. Now just focus on the artifact vault. Mission completed. Skip the cutscene. Voila. Aerial superiority completed on normal and brutal difficulties. There were more enemies to deal with on brutal, but it still was not a struggle of an achievement. Just make units out of your starport. Heavy focus on banshees, a few vikings to support them, and science vessels for repairs if you have those unlocked. If not, just use some SCVs. Make your way to that eastern wall of the map and then go straight up north, poking at their defenses, and be careful of storms. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.